David. Emily. Horatio. Adam. And we're all singers at Wells Cathedral. She was a pretty little gosling, and a gay young gosling he. And I love you, he said. So I did. And I love you too, said she. I think I've been here the longest. I started as a scholar two years ago, so this is my second year. And uh, me and Horatio started in September, so we've both lived since September. And Emily sort of lived here since September as well. Yeah, I, I work <laughs> in the cathedral and I sing in the ladies' choir. As musicians, I mean, we were some of the first people to be told that you can't go to work anymore. Mm. Um, and we want to A, keep in voice and B, you know, have fun, keep up morale. And I guess we just came out. It was boring inside, so we came outside. <laughs> there's, um, there's a lot of musicians on the close. The rest mm. of the choir live here. So that's who's been coming out to see us. Um, and because they can't sing all together, and we've got one per part here, we kind of thought it'd be nice to spread the joy. Mm. <laughs> and how has the reaction been? Has, has anyone actually joined in from their other houses? Or oh, yeah. We've had a few things thrown at us. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> people have. There have been some, sometimes we've done more than we've done what we normally do in cathedrals, so sort of sacred choral music. Mm. We've had some nice, sort of close, long renditions. Um, yeah. hasn't always worked from a <laughs> performance standard, but it's been very fun. <laughs> we originally thought when the lockdown came that we'd do a performer in each garden, but having tried that, it's quite difficult with the delay in sound mm. to actually get anything organised. Um, but we're still hopeful. We'll get 